Blessings and peace to you all, brothers and sisters. Good morning. This is Brother Ray on this beautiful uh, Sunday morning at 8.51 a.m. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, to whom we all give him praises. Um, we bless this day today that the Lord has made, and let us be glad in it every single day. <coughs> I pray that you guys are being blessed. I pray that you guys are well today. I love you guys. Uh, today, I want to give you guys some daily word, daily bread um, for, for building up the body, building up others, encouraging um, you guys and giving you strength through the Holy Spirit to be able to guide you and lead you in all your ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this is going to be from the, um, this is the ESV version here, uh, Bible study uh, version, and it's going to be, uh, start off on chapter 4. We're going to read from verse 1 all the way to 31. And this is the beginning of persecution, as in that book of Acts. And it and it says here, And as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, greatly annoyed, because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they were arrested. They arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening, but many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of the men had came about 5,000. On the next day, the rulers and the elders and the scribes gathered together in Jerusalem with Ananias, Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and all that were in the high priestly family. And they had set them in the midst of, of the inquired, By what power, by what name do you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if you are being examined today concerning good deed done to a crippled man, by what, by what means this man has been healed? Let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him... This man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you. The builders which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men among men by which we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men. They were astonished. And they recognized that they had been with Jesus, but seeing the man who was healed standing beside them, they had nothing to say in the opposition. But when they had commanded them to leave the council, they conferred with one another, saying, What shall we do with, with these men? For that their notable sign has been performed through this is evident to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But in order that they may spread no further among the people, let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in his name. So they called them and charged them not to speak. Teach all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether well, it is right in the sight of God to listen to you, rather than to God, you must judge. For we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. And when they have further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people for all that were praising God for what had happened. For the man who was this sign was healing was before was more than 40 years old. <clears throat> when they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they, were, they, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and the everything in them who throughout the mouth of our father David sir your servant said by the Holy Spirit why did the Gentiles rage and the people plot in vain the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord against his anointed Messiah for truly is the city there were gathered together against your holy servants whom you appointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had presented to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants 
to continue to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal in signs and wonders and perform through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they heard it, when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were filled, all filled with the Holy Spirit and continue to speak the word of God with boldness. And this is what we must do as well, brothers and sisters. When we become born again to our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, we receive a power that no, nothing on earth can give us. We receive a, a special, a special gift that we can use to give us power to do the right thing, to live in spirit and in truth through the Holy Spirit. He is the one that gives us the authority to move in the direction that God has has authorized us to do or Yah has authorized us to do. We don't do this amongst ourselves. We don't have the ability ourselves in our fallen nature to be able to stand on the word of God, to stand and live in truth of the word of God without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our guide to everything. It keeps us from falling. It keeps us in the right direction. And when we do make mistakes, the Holy Spirit will always guide us to truth and comfort us and give us our peace and comfort. You know, we don't have to suffer through condemnation. We don't have to uh, live in the ways of the world where we get the approval of the world. But we have the approval of God when we live according to his will through his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we must understand that no matter what we go through, no matter what circumstances we are, no matter what situation uh, we go through, myself included, I'm learning about this every single day. That's why the word of God is, is the daily bread, because it gives us the food and the nourishment we need in our spiritual lives to carry us through all circumstances, through all trials, through all situations. And without the Holy Spirit, without the Word of God, you cannot receive the Holy Spirit. You know, when we pray and we ask the Most High to give us our, uh, give us strength and give us endurance, it is through the Holy Spirit that we speak to Him. That is the, the, the beautiful language, that is the, the spiritual language, that is the divine language. And how we speak to the Most High is through the Holy Spirit. We cry out to Him, we ask Him, He touches our hearts. He reaches our most innermost feelings and our innermost desires through our hearts and minds. He knows everything that we're thinking before we even ask it. He predestined us to carry this walk. Those who are in the walk and those that are not in the walk right now, everybody has a, a set um, according to his will. Everybody is predestined to what they're going to go through in life. And as we as believers, we must understand that. There is nothing outside of the realm of what God has created. There's nothing beyond that. He is He is the God of old, today, and forever. He is He is the God. He never changes. He's always the same. And He knows our steps before we even make it. He knows everything before us before we were born. So we should understand that He and He will never fail. So even when we die, if we have to die uh, because we are preaching the gospel, because we're speaking the gospel or speaking his word then we should know that there's nothing that can separate us because remember when we become born again his promises are always true the word is always true it's never been defeated they tried to crush the word a long time ago they tried to crush jesus christ a long time ago they couldn't do it because he was god made manifest to the flesh he overcame death by raising to raising to life three days later after he died Shown the whole world who he was over 500 witnesses to see his power, his glory. You know, it raised up to the to eternity to sit at the right hand of the Father. And he reigns with us forever through our Lord Jesus Christ. And he will come back for us. He's going to come back for the church. And he's going to be come back for the people who believe and trust in him. The true Israel, the true heritage, or the ones that believe in the Christ Messiah. So we have to understand this, guys. No matter, like I say again, no matter what you go through, no matter what circumstances you're in, you can always trust and rely on the word of God. You can trust on him because he, he'll bring you through all situations, good or bad. No matter what you, like I said, no matter what you go through, you call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you will be saved. I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, you got to look beyond yourself. You got to look beyond the reality of what the world has perceived to be truth. Because the truth has always been in front of us. And it's through the word of Yah. It is through the word of God. Believe that, guys. Believe it. Don't 
Don't think that it's a fantasy. It's not because we live in a spiritual, we live in a, a world where there's spiritual, uh, spiritual things happening around us. There's spiritual wickedness around us. There's a spiritual war going on for people's souls right now. And it's a battle and, and, the, and the enemy is trying to take as many as us as people as he can with him because he doesn't want to be by himself. He hates humanity. He hates God's greatest uh, creation, which is us. And he and he knows that the way to, to, to get to him is to get to us. You know what I mean? If he can get to us and not believe, then, then and to him that's winning, even though he know he lost. But, you know, the Most High giving us grace, that's why he gave Jesus Christ as our one for all sacrifice. No more sacrifices do we need to make. And we need to put our trust and reliance in him and abide and live through him because he died for us. He came down and showed us how much he loved us because we were sinful. We didn't deserve anything. He still gave it to us. He still gave us another chance. Everyone that's here that can hear this message, that can understand this message right now, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach loves you. And he doesn't want you to perish. He doesn't want you to die. He wants you to be with him and reign with him in eternity and live with him forever. All you got to do is humble yourself and cry out to him. Be baptized, be born again in his name. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit so you can live and be sealed no matter what happens. And then from that day going forward, you live and abide in him and trust in him all the days of your life. I trust me, brothers and sisters. I'm a living testimony. You know, I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. That's why I trust in him. We're all supposed to trust and rely on him and let him do the work in us. But at the same time, we got to take the necessary steps to be set apart, to live according to his will and not according to the ways of the world. This is Brother Ray here. Brother, brothers and sisters, I hope this blesses you. And remember, man, I always love you. Jesus, Yahushua, Hamashiach loves you. Yahuwah, Almighty God, Elohim, he loves you. Yahweh, he loves you. Trust in him, guys. Um, trust me, man. I, I don't do this on my own accord. It is only by the Holy Spirit that I'm able to do this. Because trust me, there's many days that I don't, I, I in my physical, sometimes I just don't feel like it. But I've been, I've been doing this, uh, this walk consistently, and it's becoming part of my life. So it's becoming much easier for me to be able to speak the word and, and to to minister to my brothers and sisters and to people that I encounter encounter uh, in my daily life everywhere. It doesn't matter where I go because it's easy once it becomes part of your life. It becomes like an easy flow when you're living it out. It's not a struggle because you're not fighting against it, but you're allowing the Holy Spirit to work through you. So I love you, brothers and sisters. Blessings today. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a, a wonderful week ahead. And, and always trust in the Most High no matter what you go through. Let Jesus Christ, Yahushua, reign in your heart. No matter what situation you may face, it doesn't matter what you do. Always give Him praise and thanks. And let Him, let the Holy Spirit guide you and lead you in every single day that you live here. This is Brother Ray here. Love you guys. Peace and blessings. Shalom. Peace.